Hello, everyone. I'm going to just wait a few moments for everyone to hop on, and then we'll get started. Thank you for joining us for story time again this week at Amanda Hope. Again, Amanda Hope Rainbow Angels is an organization where we provide therapeutic services, financial aid, and other distractions for children who are going through cancer and other long-term illnesses. To find out more ways that you can help our children, you can come to our website at amandahope.org. Now, our story time today is going to be focusing on some of our big feelings. Real quick, before we get started, I want to acknowledge that this space and this platform is used for our children to have an escape from the world, to have a chance to get lost in a story time for just a little bit. And to quote L.R. Most, when little people are overwhelmed by big emotions, it is our job to share our calm and not to join in their chaos. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna read the book once, talk a little bit, and then we will read the book once more before we finish up. And this book is called, In My Heart, A Book of Feelings. And this is by Joe Wyack. My heart is full of feelings. Big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast, I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Other times, my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if, as if, as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me, my heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. But other times my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as a snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart hurts too. It's fragile and delicate, but can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching towards the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Eek, when I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. And when it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop around like a bouncing bunny. This is when my heart feels silly. Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one else can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on the swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today, my heart is heavy. How does your heart feel? In difficult times where we don't know how to talk to our children about world events, about things that affect us personally and affect our neighbors, it's important that we are being the adult to put on our oxygen mask first before attending to them. To quote again, L.R. Knows says that when little people are overwhelmed by big emotions, it's our job to share a calm and not our 
not our chaos. So you need to take care of you first. How can a parent help their child navigate disturbing times? Um, first, you allow your child's age and their level of development guide you. Experts say that you need to be in the right frame of mind, but you also need to make sure that your child is at the developmental age for appropriate conversation. Your first step as a parent is to take care of yourself, your mental health, your emotional health. Again, put on your oxygen mask first before putting on the oxygen mask of your child. Vicarious trauma through screens is real, especially for marginalized communities who may be experiencing similar actions firsthand. The stress of watching traumatic events on television and on smartphones lingers in our bodies and our minds. And it's important to channel that energy with positive actions. And you can teach your kids to do these different actions, whether it's through donation, whether it's through community service, or even through just regrounding and deep breathing exercises to allow you to feel positive and ready to go to the next step. This doesn't mean that you're letting go of your anger or your anxiety. It means that you're organizing it better so you can think and act more clearly. And once a parent is fully able to be calm and have that rational voice, then you can figure out what is important to pass on to your child so that you're not oversharing information that might further traumatize them or make them feel insecure or unsafe. It's important to check in with your child and ask them first, what have you heard and how are you feeling before providing any facts or context? Allow them to verbalize if they can, what their feelings are. You wanna be able to give them a space where they can share fears, share their thoughts and share those feelings. Make sure to give your child a safe space to express themselves and encourage them to enact things they may have heard or seen with toys, with games, and with uh, art supplies as well. Use play to help them explain things calmly and safely and encourage them to draw out their fears if they're unable to verbalize them. Validate their fears, provide assurance, and provide facts only from sources that are reputable. Remember that fear is something that is tricky and icky and it comes in and it can really cloud our thoughts. Fear is an emotion, and like all emotions, they will pass. We need to make sure that we are responding not out of fear, but we are responding to events with clear and rational minds. We can do that by taking action, positive action, and we can also do this by making sure that we're hearing facts from proper authority and sources. Make sure that your actions are motivated by fact, caution, and a desire to help rather than fear and self-preservation. Uh, by allowing accurate information to spread rather than fear-mongering, you are contributing positively. Please let other voices be heard during this time and do not speak with authority unless you have that authority. We wanna support you all and let you know that we are here as a space to share your thoughts, to share your fears, and to have a space to process difficult, difficult things that are going on in the world. With that being said, if you do need any therapeutic services for you, your child, your siblings, parents, grandparents, we are available for free counseling services. We want to make sure that in addition to battling cancer or any other long-term illnesses, that you don't have to deal with the additional uh, mental health strains. We want you to be able to share your feelings and feel heard and be able to be able to be able to put on your own oxygen mask again before putting it on your child. If you need more information, you can come to our website, amandahope.org. And that being said, we're going to read In My Heart once more. In My Heart, a book of emotions. My heart is full of feelings. Big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Other times, my heart feels strong, 
I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. But other times my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as a snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching towards the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. And when I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze had crawled up my neck. And I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. And when it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop around like a bouncing bunny. This is when my heart feels silly. And sometimes I hide my heart away where no one else can see like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone else to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today my heart is heavy. How does your heart feel? The end. Start that conversation with your child. Ask them, how does your heart feel today? and be open and create that safe space for them to share. I'm sending you all big hugs and butterfly kisses. Bye everyone.